Hey YouTube, I'm gonna try a few unprotected left turns here. See if I can get the drone working. I've got a drone operator. I do have my part 107 license and uh, the drone is not flying over any people or vehicles. All right, I've got a left turn programmed here. Let's see what happens. It's creeping forward, it says. It's got some traffic to deal with. A Little bit of a steering wheel checking for visibility sign. It's not far enough forward here. I'm not sure where it's going. It can't, it doesn't say press accelerator or stalk here. It's just trying to look. Let's see here. What's it gonna do? I'm not sure what it's waiting on. Maybe it's waiting on no cars to creep further forward. It's definitely at the stop line. I don't feel like it's trying anything right now. It's definitely uh, at the yellow line, kind of pointing a little bit left, but not, not too much so. I don't know how long it's gonna stay here. Um, you can definitely kind of see the angle there on the screen. I guess in a few more seconds, I'll just tap the accelerator or something. Um, I'm not exactly sure. There's nobody behind me, so I'm not in a rush. Wheels definitely moving a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna tap the accelerator a little bit and see what happens. Um, oh, I tap, oh, I'm sorry, I tapped the brake. That one might not be a good test because I tapped the brake because my foot was right on the brake. Um, I re-engaged it here at the line. Looks like it's trying it again. Okay, it cannot go. It did stop and there's a nice large gap behind these two cars. Let's see if it goes. Very hesitant here. Boy, two miles an hour. Hey, and it decided to go right. Okay. <laughs> it was wide open. It could have gone left. I'm not sure why it chose to go right there. Um, so we're in a little bit of a loop. I'm going to go ahead and let it do one loop this time. We've got previous videos of it entering a loop. Um, so this is a behavior that happened on 9.0. All right, got a few pedestrians it needs to go around or wait on to turn right. Looks like they crossed the street. That was a good interaction there. It stopped for them. All right, and now we're going to turn right. And it's going to go around the loop. Um, let's see what happens on this one. While we're proceeding up to this next turn, you can see it definitely has the navigation programmed around the street to the right and then a left unprotected turn. I, it really just stopped um, and waited on that first one uh, before I hit the brake accidentally. Um, I, I wonder if that in and of itself is a new behavior because before, if it didn't see anything, it was just proceeding. Now, well, I'm not going to make any judgment. Let's 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 get a few more runs here. Um, okay, coming up at our intersection, we got a left turn on navigation here, stopping for traffic control. Now it's creeping, checking for visibility, and I'm clear to the left, but it's going to the right. Okay, all right. Going to the right. Okay, so now it's done that twice. Um, and I think I learned last time that sometimes it gets itself in a loop and I need to cancel navigation and then reinitiate it. So as soon as it does this loop here, I'm gonna go ahead um, after on this next right turn, I'll let it do that automatically. Not bad there. Okay, and I'm gonna cancel navigation, reinitiate it. All right, and it now should have a new route. 
let it zoom in. Yep, and it's programmed it correctly. All right, checking for visibility at a stop sign. It needs to proceed. And very cautious, but not unsafe. Do have a car here that needs to wait on me? Uh, that car may create a scenario where I can't wait too long here at this intersection. Um, left blinker. That car is right on my rear end now. Um, all right, I'm having to tap the accelerator for the car behind me. I tapped it a little bit. It needs to stop, and it's going right again. Um, okay. Tapping accelerator again. All right, I had to bail out of that one because of the car behind me, and it just it's indecision there. Okay, I haven't gotten it to try a left turn yet, so I'm going to cancel that again. And... Um, Go around the block and I'm going to reinitiate it with just the straightaway instead of the turn uh, to the right. Not exactly sure what to, I, I mean, it, it feels like it's being more cautious. It's not just proceeding, but it, it also is turning right um, on the, the turns where it needs to be going left. And it's trying, it's navigating left. So it's not like I'm forcing it down this corner. It, it chose this route. All right, here we are, straight ahead. Left turn programmed. It's got a little bit of a vector to go left here. Okay. It's, it, it's going right again. All right, I'm going to let this one go. It can go. I'm just going to see where it goes. Okay, let's see. Oh, something new here. Left lane, center lane, kind of dangerous there. And then it's going to fight itself back to the right. And, and um, we're living Groundhog Day again. Okay. Um, let me try to think of something else I can try to get this thing to try to take a left turn. Uh, I, I'm not forcing it down this corner. I mean, obviously the scenario that navigation is choosing is choosing um, that that unprotected left, but it is not, vision is not comfortable doing it even though navigation is. Uh, you guys know me, I'm just gonna kinda keep trying and see what else happens here. That time it kind of wasn't sure about the lane choice there. Okay, so we're coming out again. Left turn programmed. It kind of is thinking about a left turn initially. Left blinker. All the intents are going left, but it's now the steering wheel is going to the right already. Not quite at the stop line, so it definitely could be using more visibility than it has. Now it feels like it's it's taken it up. Now the vector, it looks like it's changed its mind again. Wide open to the left if it goes. There's some fast approaching traffic. And it's going to the right. Don't, okay, it can't go in that middle lane because of that car back there. Okay. Um, I I can't understand um, what, it's, what it's doing uh, at this particular time. So... I think I'm just going to go ahead and post this as, as today's results. I tried both programmed and, and, and not programmed. It, it wouldn't do the unprotected left and it almost didn't even take a peek close enough to see why. So um, no, no reason uh, doing the same thing over and over and over again. I've tried several scenarios so uh, maybe later on today um, I'll see if the car has got a different mood. Hope you all enjoyed it. Okay, I've got a, a scenario here where it's put itself in an unprotected left with a median in the middle. This is a little bit different than the normal one I, I do closer to the house, but it is essentially the same. It does have a stoplight one block to the left to give it plenty of um, traffic visibility uh, or gaps, I should say. Uh, right now there's a truck coming. It's right there. No gap. 
and the light which is right about here is, is currently green so there could be oncoming traffic interesting notice the trajectory here there's plenty of room on the left on opposing car from the front it definitely can go all the way right now it's wide open needs a little bit of a commit speed in the left lane a little bit of a commit speed not okay I'm tapping the accelerator there just to there's cars rapidly accelerating from behind but it completed the turn um, no problem. Uh, the trajectory was jumping around a little bit. I wasn't sure if it was going to take a right turn there or not, but it didn't. Um, so anyway, there's a one example of an unprotected left. 